What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Investigations. Last time we started our new investigation, and Edgeworth got kidnapped from a trade-off in a haunted house. Right? That's what it was, a haunted house? I think that's what it was. Okay. How long was I out? It wasn't raining like it is now when I made the drop-off. This was supposed to be a simple affair. So why have I been taken hostage as well? Hmm? I can only assume Detective Gumshoe lost sight of me at some point. Oh no, not another salary deduction. Oh, Gumshoe, do your job. The only reason I agreed to be the drop-off man was because of that phone call. It was from, look at his earlobes. So hot. It was from Mr. Ernest Amano, the director of the powerful Zaibatsu the Amano Group. That sounds familiar. But aside from that, I also owe him a great debt of gratitude. His only son, Lance, had been kidnapped. I know that Lance is already in his 20s. I thought I was say, I know that Lance is already dead. But I guess some things you never grow out of. I can't sit around waiting for someone to come help me. I must escape somehow. Go! What the hell is that noise, Edgeworth? <laughs> was that you trying to make that funny sound? Oh, it must be Lance. Who's there? How dare you laugh at a gentleman's plight? That's not a Lance. Who are you? Are you one of the kidnappers? A kidnapper? Me? No way. I'm not into such petty crimes. Nope. I'm. Oh, are you a thief? Because the key is... That's the first thing I assumed when I saw a six-foot-long key in your hair. Are you a thief? It's, oh, it's too easy to predict. Don't be a thief. I hope you're not a thief. I must be worn out from today's ordeal. Focus, Miles. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Sorry about that. Ahem. <clears throat> Even in the depths of night, when no other bird dares to take flight, one alone soars to shine the light of righteousness on the world's blight. And that one is me! For I am the great thief, Yadagarasu! Oh, yeah. When? That's funny. I remember saying that name like six times in the episode when they mentioned it. I have no idea what it means anymore. Great thief? And did she really just claim to be the Yadagarasu? Oh, but my real name is K. Faraday. You can call me K. K. Good, glad that's settled. Not quite. I have a mountain of questions for you. But first, if you would be so kind to remove these ropes. Mmm, I wonder. Should I remove them? I was actually having a lot of fun watching you make those silly faces. Hey, there's no need to get all mad and icy glary on me, you know. Kicker, right in the shin. This rope goes through here, and there you go. What a relief. You, I owe you my thanks. Ah, it's okay. You can pay me back in full later. Now then, what question should I start with? Unfortunately, I can already tell nothing is going to be easy with this cheeky girl. Great thief. You call yourself a great thief, yet you... Are you really a thief at all? And I bet that scarf she's wearing was passed down from like an ancestor or father or something. You doubt me? Yeah, I've seen way too many anime and played games like these do not... Actually, that'd be fun. I, I want to be wrong. I like being wrong because it's a surprise. So... You think that a young lady like me couldn't possibly be such a big time thief, right? That's not the part I have a tough time believing. I am the real, genuine Yadagarasu, you know. Yep, I'm a pure-blooded great thief. It's a little something I inherited from my predecessor. Like that scarf? Say it. In that case, you wouldn't mind if I arrested you then, right? What? Of course I'd mind. I haven't stolen anything yet. Seriously, I don't know how you can say such a horrible thing to your savior. That's true. Technically, she hasn't stolen anything in front of me, yet. When you say you're the Yadagarasu, do you mean you are THE Yadagarasu? Yep, The most righteous of the righteous. The legendary great thief. But the title was only recently succeeded to me. 
so I haven't had a chance to steal anything yet as the second Yadagarasu. I was not aware that thieves could pass down their titles like that. Shh. So it's like Raish al Ghul, how Raish can pass off of his title. Of course, I don't know if that's how it was in the actual comic with Talia al Ghul, but at least in... Oh, I'm not. I'm gonna say no more, just in case. Don't want to spoil anything for anyone. Shut up! What am I doing? Shut up! I was not aware that thieves could pass down their titles like that. But don't worry, I've got some big plans in the works. Big plans, huh? They would happen to lead us to uh, uh, blah, happen to lead to a big arrest, would they? I knew it. There's just no reasoning with the prosecutor. I'm not the problem here. I'll have you know that the Yadagarasu has no interest in stealing petty trinkets. There's one thing and only one thing I want to steal. But that's going to have to wait until we find our way out of here. Well, at least there is one thing we agree on. I'm sure I'll have plenty of time to learn more about you. Just if, if, if you guys haven't noticed, when it comes to um, a lot of these reading games, I skip dialogue whenever it's something repeated twice. So let's say she went, I used to be the leader of a clan in the, in the forest of the woods. And then maybe he'll, Edgeworth or Phoenix or anyone will go, she lived in the forest of the head in the woods. And all they do is add a question mark at the end. It's, it's so stupid. I'm doing it to save time, even though this explanation is wasting time. All right. If you guys just wonder why I sometimes skip stuff, it's usually because that's the reason. You never told me what your name is, Mr. Prosecutor. I guess not. I'm Miles Edgeworth. Aha! Now I remember. How could you remember something I just told you? But you sure is cheery. All right then, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's get out of here. It's locked, you... Bimbo. Hmm? No, keep trying. It would seem that we are locked in from the other side. Wah! Wah! I'll hear you! Okay, you do remember where you came in from, right? It looks like that might be our only way out of this room. Whoops, slight miscalculation. That's a good height to make an entrance from, but I can't jump that high to make an exit. I suppose we have no choice but to look around and see if we can't find another way out. I'm sure there's some sort of vent. What is this? Looks like the Bad Badger, and it's looking as bad as ever. Looks like a costume head to me. I guess the Bad Badger's costume is, at the very least, a two-piece, huh? The real question is, why is only the head sitting out there on the floor? Got it. They're holding a Blue Badger photo rally? You didn't know? Plus, it's not just the Blue Badger, it's his whole family, too. I didn't know he had a whole family. If you manage to snap a shot of every member of the family, you get a real posh prize. A really posh prize. Sorry, it's really early in the morning. I'm trying to really fully awaken. Well, there's a costume head sitting over there. Why not start with a picture of that? You can't do that. That's cheating. There's only one of each badger in the park, so you have to work for it. Speaking of badgers, there was one sitting against a wall in the haunted house. Seriously? But somehow I don't think that one counts, Mr. Edgeworth. You have to take pictures of the costume ones while around the park. So those are the rules of this game. How quaint. Hmm. Does it have the names? I want to know. I want to know all their names. Let's see. They're holding... Oh, wait. Oops. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, no, no. I already read all this. Come on. Stop. Stop. Boop, boop. Oh, there's a panel. Hold on, let's look at these boxes first. Hey, there's something inside the bottom right box. Oh, I think it's a pink badger costume. Pink badger? You don't keep up with what's going on in the world, do you? In that case, you better study up on the whole badger clan with this. Yes, yes, give me the names. Oh, there it is. Proto badger, blue badger, pink badger, bad badger. An ally just who keeps the peace, very first badger. Well, proto badger, you look very silly. 
What is this thing? Think of it as a Bible of all the things you'll never need to know about the clan. Whatever. I suppose I can keep it as a reference guide or something. I suppose this means that this is where they keep all the costumes. It certainly looks that way. It looks, uh, it's like the Badger's family's home. There are eight boxes, but seven of them are empty. Which means that seven of the costumes are in use right now. But aren't these Badgers the mascots of the police force? Well, I heard that the police had a hand in sponsoring this theme park. Probably because the Gatewater group owes the police from all those cases they solved. They have all the power of the state and they used it to make a theme park? It's not just any theme park. They have a handcuff shaped double looping roller coaster. That's quite enough. I'm feeling woozy from just the thought of such a thing. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Bam. I suppose this is the pink badger. But since it has the same design, doesn't it seem forced to call this one a female? You think so? I mean, just look at how long her eyelashes are. That's the only difference. And the fact that she's pink. Yes, and? And her lips are red, see? Lipstick. What? She has nothing to say about the giant pink ribbon? Or is that too obvious? This is that blue badger I met at the main gate. Excuse me, but his name is Proto Badger, not Blue Badger. He's based off of the very first design created by the local police chief. You know, when you compare the two, the Blue Badger looks a bit cuter. I suppose as he continued to redesign him, the chief managed to make him cuter and cuter. Even humanity has come a long way when you think about how much we've evolved. Are we comparing the Blue Badger to humans now? So this is the Blue Badger's rival, the Bad Badger, huh? Do you feel some sort of reference towards this Badger K? Ha! I can't believe you'd be so stereotypical when it comes to thieves. Surely you must also think there are much cooler and cuter ones out there, right? That's it. I've decided that thieves and thievery need an image makeover. K. It's the Blue Badger. I suppose even this thing can be popular with women. I can't stand him. Why is she suddenly beating the blue badger's image up? He's got the word badge right in his name. How bad is that for a girl like me? And to think he's out there wandering around in this park. I better be careful or he's going to arrest me by the power of his name alone. I somehow doubt that the blue badger has the power to arrest anyone. Ah, a key! Oh, that's a tiny, that's hard to find. And what have we here? Why do I feel a laser-like stare aimed right at me? Did you want to take a look? Well, don't mind if I do! Oh, I see, yes. This is definitely a key. I'm sure it's a key to something. Oh, brilliant deduction. The something is what is relevant to my interest. That's probably everything. Yep, that's it. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Man, why did they have to put the window so high up anyway? How is a thief supposed to make our daring escape? I suppose we could make our way out if we were able to climb on top of those lockers. That's pretty clever. You'd make a good thief yet, Mr. Edgeworth. Please don't ever place my name and the word thief in the same sentence again. Let's see. I wonder if I can jump up. Oh, oh, that was an accident. My thumb spasmed and I pressed the button. Why did they have to make such a ginormous lockers anyway? To make such, oh man, I, oh, it is, it's like 5 a.m. I'm still trying to, I thought I'd be awake by now, but, ooh. If we can get to the top, then we can escape. If only there were some footholds. Can't we use the boxes? But yeah, when it's when it's this early in the morning, imagine 
You know those hurdlers in the Olympics and stuff like that that jump over those little little fence looking things? It's like that, but I'm stumbling through every single one and each one is a word. I'm going So that that's what's going on with me right now. <clears throat> Maybe we could use this paint to help us escape. Yes, we can paint an exit like the Roadrunner. And what exactly do you have in mind? Well, we could paint help in really giant letters. And who, pray tell, would see these giant letters? We're inside a building. Okay, then how about we light the paint on fire and send out colored smoke signals? Anyone who saw it would think some crazy arsonist was about and call the cops. Actually, that may not be all that great for me, uh, seeing as I'm a thief and all. Let's try to find something other than this paint to use. Running out of options. I forgot I could run. What if I present the key? I don't have the key in here. Oh, it's my key is logic. That's so weird. Can I just point at the locked door and then... Huh. I can try combining the locker and the tiny key. Because if it opens, that's a foothold. The pieces don't fit together quite right. But it's such a good idea! No! And I've already picked this up, right? Wait, what? I thought that was the pamphlet! The the family! Oh, okay, that, okay. It looks like it made it through the ordeal intact. Doesn't look like a phone at all. If only there was some way for us to contact someone on the outside. But we do every way right here! There was a cell phone here this whole time? If I'm right, Detective Gumshoe should have contacted the precinct for backup by now. Mr. Edgeworth, sir! Are you okay? I was so worried, sir. I'm fine. I was knocked unconscious for a spell by the kidnapper, that's all. I'm sorry, sir. I'm such a fear! If only I hadn't lost sight of you! Detective, we don't have time for this. Have the police set up a perimeter right now. You don't have to worry about that, sir. I already got the boys working on that. But in doing that, I sorta... Ah! What's wrong, detective? Sorry to butt in, but I'm afraid you're going to have to make do with me. Who is this? Shilong Lang of Interpol. What a lovely name. A pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Edgeworth. Shilong Lang. I've heard a great deal about you. My name is Shilong Lang. So what? Why? So why exactly is an Interpol agent like yourself involved in a domestic kidnapping case? Don't sweat the details. A crime's a crime, whether it's on a local or global scale. Besides, you're the one who's in a world of trouble. And why would you say that? Lang, she says, the pack that runs together stays together. Catch my drift? You cause quite a ruckus by running blindly into a situation and then getting caught. Tch. You should have contacted the police from the very beginning. I'm sorry that this happened because of a lapse in judgment. However, I humbly request that you please help me out of here post haste. Sorry, no can doosville, baby doll. What? We're hunting the kidnapper now, and I haven't got any hands to spare. As I said, my pack moves as one. And with that, I will leave this video to an end. So stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode. And I hope you're all enjoying the rest of your Monday. Bye-bye! Uh,